Let's go outside to Rob. All right, Denise, thank you very much. You know, iSpace is a summer camp that has been voted one of the best in the country by Family Magazine. It promises to transform your kid into a rocket engineer. That's what I'm going to do this morning. Joining me this morning, we have Bev Ketrin and Sharon Young. First of all, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for, thank you for having us. We're really delighted to be here. Tell me, I know spaces are already filling up for your summer camp. Why do you think uh, kids love it so much and their parents love it? Uh, it's very exciting, all hands-on. Uh, we have great teachers, great staff that work there. So just a lot of summer fun going on. And the other thing is that it's when you're a kid that kind of sparks, and it might determine what you do for the rest of your life, correct? That's right. Uh, we try and get kids interested in science, technology, engineering, and math, and expose them to a lot of different careers. Uh, I just like to say I'm jealous of your jumpsuits. <laughs> I want one of those. Okay, so now what is the first experiment we're going to be doing? Well, one of the things we want to do today is actually talk about something you could do at home this summer, whether okay. you come to iSpace or not. But a uh, great classic experiment using what's commonly called Alka-Seltzer rockets or an effervescent tablet. Or okay. you can use a generic brand. They work well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, But we're going to launch a film canister rocket, which film canisters are becoming almost extinct, extinct? as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah sure. So, okay, so the okay. safety first. So we're going to put on uh, safety goggles first. Canister here that's filled. I'm sorry, canister filled, uh -huh. pretty full of water. We've colored it blue so you can see it a little bit. Okay. We're going to put half a tablet of Alka Seltzer in there and put the lid on, flip it upside down, lid down, and then let that launch. Okay, let's so, do it. Yeah, it'll make a chemical reaction and we'll get gas in there. That our rocket launch is created with the gas, and we're going to count down with this. Are you ready? Yeah, okay, let's count down. Here we go. Five, Five four, four, three, two, two one. one. Blast, blast off. off. Oh. Come on, Rocket. You can do it. It's, well, it's going, right? <laughs> it's going. It's cool outside today, yeah. too. Which, oh. oh. That was a little duddy, but it's because of the temperature? No, not. Well, slower because yeah. of the temperature. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. Let's, Let's, we're going to do another one. What are we going to do now? We're going to change one thing. We're only going to change the amount of water, so we have a lot less water in this canister, if you can see that. Okay. We're still going to use half a tablet of Alka-Seltzer. If you were doing this at home, you'd want to use the same canister, right? You don't want to change two sure. things at once. Good scientists change one variable. But for the sake of time, we're going to assume that's a similar canister. And the other thing is that it's lighter because there's less less water, and there's more room for the, for the gas to accumulate. Part of that's right. You have more room for the gas to accumulate. Uh, the water all stayed behind, so the mass of the weight of the water oh, does not reflect it. Okay. Yeah, so that's the science behind that. Now, we could change the variables. We could use uh, pop, juice. You could crush the tablets. You could, you know, keep them whole. You can change. Oh, oh. should have counted down. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Okay, so what are some of the other, I mean, I would assume that when kids are watching this, they are engaged, correct? They're leaning forward instead of leaning back. Absolutely, yes. Um, kids are so interested to have fun with science, and that's what we try and expose them to. Okay, now that was an experiment that you can do at home. We want to show you another rocket that you probably cannot do at home. While Sharon sets everything up, tell me about what we're looking at. Well, this is one of our paper rocketry activities. We do a lot of different rockets, water bottle, model rockets and all. But paper rockets are pretty safe. Uh, it can be done pretty much anywhere at school or, you know, after school or in our summer camp programs. And so we've got high-pressure air launchers here. We've got paper rockets made out of paper, tape, and index cards. Real high-tech stuff. I love it. Yep. Uh, but anyway, we're going to launch those. Uh, would you like to launch them? I would love to launch it. Okay. You need to press. You'll need to press and hold button uh -huh. all the I'll way down and hold it down. Go it. Okay, so Frank, you're gonna you're gonna need to count me down. Okay. Okay. This is Mission Control. Mission Control. Mission Control. We're gonna count you down here. Uh, Houston. Three, two, one. We have ignition. We have ignition. Space shuttle Rob Williams with a mission to find new food is now. <laughs> yeah, the uh, it's aborted for the time being. Um, so now, how can kids find out about how to sign up, or how can parents find out how to sign up their kids? Uh, they can check our website. It's ispacescience.org, or give us a call. We'd be glad to talk to them about it at, all, at any time. So. I love it. We're going to try this one more time. I think our engineer found out what the glitch is. Uh, engineering has now given us clearance. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. We have liftoff. Whoa, look at that one. You, you almost hit I-75 on that one. Well, let me tell you something. Uh, I'm in my 40s, and I had a great time. Imagine how much fun your kids will have. You can sign up online. We have the information at fox19.com. Sharon, Bev, thank you very much. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. We're back in a moment.